Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will learn how to create a stunning text effect using HTML and CSS. So without any further ado, let's dive into the tutorial and learn how it's done. We begin with the HTML code. To start with, we have a div element with the class name container. This div acts as a container for our animation. Within the container, we have three elements. The first one is a h1 heading element with the text sunflower. The second element is an image element with the source attribute set to sunflower.png, which is a transparent sunflower image. Lastly, we have another h1 heading element with the text sunflower. By combining these elements with CSS styles, we achieve the desired effect. Now moving on to CSS, the first style rule targets the body element and sets the background color to deep black color. This creates a nice contrast for our sunflower animation. Next we target the element with class container. It has a fixed height of 10 em and a width of 45 em. The position property is set to absolute allowing us to position the container freely on the page. To center the container horizontally and vertically, we use the transform along with the top and left property. In the next step, we target the H1 element inside the container. We set the font color to white to contrast with the black background. The font family is set to Poppins, which is a popular sans serif font. Next, we set the font size to 7.3 em, which is quite large. We position the h1 element absolutely. Next, we target the image element inside the container. We also position this absolutely. We set the width of the image to 25 em and copy and paste the above code to center the image inside the container. Now to adjust or remove the vertical spacing, we set the line height of h1 element to 0. Additionally, we add an animation called spin to the image which lasts for 8 seconds and repeats infinitely in a linear manner. Now before defining the keyframes, let us style the last h1 element. We set the color to transparent and webkit text stroke to 1px white. Sorry, it's actually 3px white. This create an outline text effect. Now we can go back and define the keyframes for our animation. We define this key uh, animation using the keyframes rule. Inside it we have a single keyframe at 100% that sets the transform property to translate minus 50% comma minus 50% and rotate 360 degree. This means that at the end of the animation, this image will have completed a full rotation of 360 degrees while staying centered in the container. This completes our text effect. I hope you liked this video. If you have any queries or feedback, please comment them below. See you in the next video. Till then, happy coding.